Welcome to Eastern Montana, where there are many different hunting opportunities for the sportsman, like pheasant and grouse. Hi. Get it? Yeah. In eastern Montana, antelope tags are easy to draw. Plus, you can buy additional doe and fawn tags over the counter. Just check out the state's regulations for the units you are interested in hunting to see what's all available. Oh, he's rubbing that. I've got him right there. Now, if you have a general A tag for deer in Montana, you can hunt either whitetail bucks or mule deer bucks as long as you are not in a special permit area for mule deer. In eastern Montana, most of the units you can hunt either species of deer. Whitetail deer tend to be a lot harder to find though. Once again, check out the rules and the state regulations for the unit you want to hunt. Coyotes can be hunted 24 hours of the day. You can use a handheld spotlight, you don't need a hunting license, and there is no limit on them. Those ones are fighting up but always check each state's hunting regulations or call Fish, Wildlife, and Parks to make sure you are always following the laws. When hunting in eastern Montana, glassing with good optics from observation points is highly recommended. In open country like this, the elk and deer go from their feeding grounds to places like this. Places with timber or ravines with brush, basically places to hide. Here are six bulls in their feeding area. We have been watching these elk and have patterned them. This is another effective way to hunt in open areas like this. Spot them, pattern them, and set up accordingly. And that's exactly what we've done. We are waiting for these elk in the beginning of the timber while they are en route to their bedding area. Is he 
get going. Okay, watch. Oh, I see those. Hang on, hang on. I'm on a different bull. I want the second bull. Okay. Not the one that's running away from us? Okay. There, there's one coming up a ridge. There's two of them. Which one are you going to take? Second one. Got him. Yes! He's down. They're all about the same. Yeah. Dad? Right on. Good job. Good job. Pretty exciting. How's that? Looks good. All right. Congratulations, Shane. Thanks, Steve. Right on. That is nice. Good deal. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? It was a good hunt. We got uh, saw three out of the seven bulls. They come across this morning, perfect. It was kind of a spot, but not stock hunt because it was too open. We saw these bulls from about two miles away. We viewed them from, uh, from the bottom country right at first daylight. And we tried to get ourselves in a position where we thought they might walk to. We had to get up on a high point and wait for a, a couple of hours. Yeah, a couple hours. To, to see which way they would go, because this country is so open. If we were to stalk on them, they can see for, for, for several miles around when they're on a high point out in the open, so we didn't want to mess it up. And we were fortunate enough that they ended up walking right into us. Yeah, a lot of glassing, kept the wind in our favor, and we tried to figure out which way they were going to come and that's what we did we we guessed right and it worked out perfect we're in eastern montana by the way self-guided hunt uh this is a special permit area that shane drew we're having a great time uh running around chasing elk a lot of things to hunt there our hunting. family's been able to hunt uh, pheasant grouse uh, mule deer and antelope and obviously elk all in the same area of eastern montana so it's a good opportunity if uh, you don't have a lot of time to hunt and you want to try to hunt multiple species, this is a great place to hunt. You can bring your rifle and your shotgun and, uh, and have a great family outing. Yeah, and you can do a lot of, a lot of find out a lot of that research off my hunting videos, uh, High Country Outdoors, Big Game Hunting, part one and part two. How to find these type of spots. Uh, Got to do your research and you can have a lot of fun like this. and really enjoy yourself and uh, you don't have to spend too much time you can get a lot of action going right away and it's extremely affordable uh, a hunt like this guided would be several thousand dollars and we were able to do this for uh, the price of the tags the uh, price of the food and, uh, and the fuel yep self-guided hunts are the way to go nowadays you just got to spend a little time do your research do your homework and you can have a very fun successful outing so Hope you enjoyed this hunt. Hope we helped you out in a lot in, in some ways and uh, see you on the next hunt. Congratulations Thanks a lot, again, Steve. Shane. Thanks a lot.